You know, some of our viewers here are not happy that we are not discussing about Nigeria problem. So they want us to discuss about Nigeria issue. They claim that Nigeria is going through so much and we need to go through the issues. And I clearly understand. But sometimes I see things that eh, we still need to cash close a little bit. Like my guy, Peter Rumi. He said, we are talking about the current situation in Nigeria and how our law making and making decisions that is affecting the economy. And people are still putting their energy on whiskey and David O. It's a shame. It's a shame. My Peter, my guy, you know, say, I hail you. And I clearly understand you. You understand? And again, you are right. You are right. But sometimes uh, we really need to sit back a little bit to cash goals. You know, we have been talking and talking and talking and talking. And we know we really need to talk more in order for things to go forward. But sometimes we do need to sit down to drink water. So just look the whiskey that David O'Matai as us drinking water. Understand? Just to cash close a little bit. And again, on this channel, we talk about critical matter as well. Courtism, Yahoo, Tindubu, Peter B, and so many other things in our society that we are facing. Of course, you guys know. And some of you do not even like this video. Why now? Now that see they cause this matter. You that don't like all those videos of if they talk about economy, hardship, Nigeria and everything. You that know they like them. Why? And all those videos are there. You just go through the channel and check whatever video that suits you. Huh? But that being said, let's go back to some of the battles that are troubling us in this country such as courtism. In Edo, Aochi, recently, I had some really, really disturbing news. Court is no one let them rest. Most especially in Aochi. Court is no one let them rest. But recently, police allegedly arrested like 35 in Edo State recently. That was even yesterday here, according to the news. That was even yesterday, police arrested about 35 courtists. According to the news, they said police arrested 35 courtists during initiation in Edo State. The operative of the Edo State Police Command have arrested 34, 35 suspected courtists in Ekboba, Esa, West local government area of the state. Of course, plenty of don't know about Ekboba. So, after all the advocating, after all the shouting, say no join court to no join court to come on for court, no gain for court. Even the former courtist, may they be Babana, they tell you now small children. No join, no join, no join. See, 35, they arrest 35. 35 they bear with the join. Ah, now wow. I don't know they give you that orientation. No. What is the benefit? After everything that we have been doing, even me putting my neck on the line, trying to re-educate young guys out there, there is no need to join court. Go look for money. Court is going to find you, may you join them. At that time, you go to roll with the big boys. Don't you know in court is there is small boys and big boys? Don't you know? People to say, ah, see, like they are born boy and they join court. I can bet you, if you join the same court, me born boy join, you cannot come close to born boy. You cannot say born boy from afar and say, hey, split the cup. And you want to get there. Who born you rich? You know, go fit. So when you go join court, may you know go fit associate with the baby boys. Tell me, why? Why will you join something that they will not allow you? To associate with, a, with the big boys that will not give you an ID card that you can proudly wear whenever you are going to you show to the police. The police will double it like this. Also, a soldier, the police will double the soldier will double it like this. You can't do that. Are you the joiner? Are you an arm robber? You go join, you go to hide, you go to why you abba. Abba. 
it keeps baffling me guys because we really advocate against these things we they advocate against them every goddamn time but they know they hear word why you not know they hear word why hmm? why guys why well let's move past that now they know you see that is part of nigeria matter maybe we don't talk about now and i bet you peter peter rumi you know we'll see him for this comment section <laughs> no, see ya. well that being said let's talk about another thing again in lagos ecoe lagos so recently the lagos uh authorities went out uh and they discovered some people living under a bridge not just a bridge not just because of a bridge because we already knew some people do live under a, under the bridge in some of all those major cities but this particular one was redesigned by someone demarcated into rooms and was renting them out for 250k every every year in lagos ikoi close to dolphin estate they said the bridge has housed 86 rooms partitioned into 10 by 10 and 12 by 12. squatters there have been paying an average rent of 250k per annum somebody discovered a bridge and bought planks to demarcate under the bridge because it was closer to the ground to demarcate under under the bridge to close to 86 rooms and was renting one room each for 250k indeed lagos is a place that if you go lagos you know make a man you know go feel maker for any year again for nigeria <laughs> he said that you make a throw bit away or stroke conny conny too many other things ah i want to be hungry with those people who are paying the money but oh, then again, my man will tell me, Adam Slink, do you know the situation these people are in? If I told me, I call the para, I want para for them. Why you go pay rent for on that bridge? You move to the past. What to eat the thing called collapse in the night? And some of those people have family. They 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 they, they, they groom kids from under that bridge. But then again, my heart will tell me. But I'm still chill because you do not know what they are going through. You know how hard it is for them to feed. Honestly, I want to blast those people that pay 250k. But they will say, No, 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 no. You must you live in city? Must you live in city? All of us eh, for Nigeria are thinking eh, we have a inferiority complex. We do not appreciate where we come from. Everybody want to go to city, and people that are in the city want to japa. We don't even 250k can get you a very okay. If I start talking, about, you see, this is why I cannot even make a speech anymore in Nigeria on on on, on the online without somebody thinking like oh and uh, and I'm saying you are unreasonable. Can we still allow some people like this to just uh? keep wasting their time 250k you paid it to someone that is illegal living and in, and, and in an illegal place come on man. and now you are wasting the 250k you want us to come and fight for you that they are throwing your things out and demolishing that place who are you going to mint for your remaining house rent because that place has, is an illegal place as you see and it's not even really good for you. I pity them, Sha. I pity them. I really pity them. But I understand the situation of this country. Every year hard. Really, really hard. You are trying so much to survive. But then again, do not put yourself in any harm's way now. Think about your life. Yeah? Think about it, guys. There are many opportunities in the village. You can start if I toss a farm now. People will say, eh, hey, my farm. You can start farming. Eh? 
Then again, uh, let's uh, go back to UK. Let's talk about some Africans in UK. I don't want to specifically say Nigeria. I check out this video. This video explains itself clearly. It shows these Africa boys. In the comment section, I see people are saying Nigeria, 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 Nigeria. How can you tell that these are Nigerians? Who are you to open your mouth to, to say these are Nigerians? They are not Nigerians. Whenever anything bad, they're seen in Nigeria. In fact, whenever someone do something bad in abroad, eh, in order not to even discredit his own country, we say I'm in Nigeria. And you are not in Nigeria. In fact, anybody may they do bad in abroad, both for home and abroad, should be regarded as a Nigeria, including most of our politicians. If they're still, they shouldn't be regarded as a Nigeria. They should be regarded as an enemy of the state. So, you are in another mass land. You are breaking their rules and regulations. We know, say, man must also, man must fight something chop. The situation there is not still easy as we think over here. But then again, you have to work eh, and also abide by the rules and regulations of that land. Now, this kind of thing, now they will see it, now they will tighten our visa for us. In fact, Nigeria visa is among the worst visa in the world. You can't go anywhere with it, except Ghana. <laughs> well, and this kind of things that you guys are doing, eh? by the time the police start giving report, feedback to their head, and the head will give report to their uh, constituency, and the constituency will give report to their senate. The Senate will deliberate. How can we crop this? They will then tighten the visa process. Tighten the visa process and make it harder for your brothers and sisters to come. Because say, you must also, you must chop, you must chop. Bele first. That is why you want to do whatever means break the rules in order for you to chop. And what will you gain? After you don't chop, finish, you don't bele food. What have you gained when you have already spoiled the same rule? You use in coming. Other people came up, made good reputation. That is why they are able to allow your whole country people to come. Now you want poor reputation of your whole country. Like I've said, people must chop, people must also, but then again, eh, do your hustle and also abide by the rules and regulations of the land. Everywhere you go, now you must walk. Must you all close for everywhere you go as a Nigerian? Must you orc? You now want to introduce orky for there. <laughs> well, it's all good though. Uh, let me know exactly how you feel about that, guys, and uh, catch you next time. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed. Peace.